I'm Jennifer Angel from New York Daily News and this is my horoscope overview for March. It's like a snapshot. Okay Gemini, so right at the start of the month the new moon kicks off in your solar 10th house all to do with business and your career and uh, your work life. Now we also have Saturn which is in your 6th house which is very much to do with your day to day work, your routine, how you go about things. Now on the 3rd of the month Saturn is retrograde so that can make you feel like you're, it's a little bit of a, a stop a start. Um, you're going ahead but is, there seems to be some delays. Don't worry about it too much because right over in your 10th house uh, that new moon energy at the beginning really does signify that something new is going to come through and it's like just kick starts the energy off. So if you feel like um, you've got something new happening and then all of a sudden it's delayed or just, just go with it. There's lots of planets coming and going in and out of retrograde this month. So it's a, it's a little bit disruptive in that sense but um, your uh, ruling planet Mercury it does come out of its retrograde transit at the beginning of the month and so right through to about the first week it can be um, a little bit disruptive still but then it evens out so once a planet gets through the either stationary direct or stationary retrograde transit then it does tend to sort of even out so really after the first week things are going to sort of start to start to look good there is a full moon in your solar fourth house this month that's mid month um, so you can expect some extra attention to be going on your around your family at home and around your domestic scene so um, if something needs to be dealt with there then try to deal with it you know and put it aside I mean you don't always like to confront uh, matters that's you know who does sometimes it's best to leave it alone but right now with the full moon it's likely that it's something that needs to be um, brought up aired discussed then you're going to have to do that and it will be good to sort of bring it up and get finalize it close it off and then you can you know move forward so uh, so there's certainly a lot of different um, energies around and there's a lot of movement around your chart this uh, this month. Um, when I look at your love, your personal area, then Mars in the fifth house is uh, passionate. You don't want to make any rash decisions though Gemini, like what's the time? If you're you know dating a new honey then um, take your time. You want to make sure that there's more to the relationship than just the passion. There's a difference between love and lust. Okay, have a great month. I'm Jennifer Angel from New York Daily News. Thanks for watching.